Red flag number two. <laughs> Red flag number two. She cannot have any distinct physical features. I'll explain. <laughs> Nobody feel targeted. And before you get mad at me, I'm not even the shallow one in this red flag, by the way. It's my fucking friends. Because all of my friends are black and they will roast you within an inch of your life. If you have anything prominent about your face that stands out at all. They have cost me so many potential relationships. I was seeing this girl last summer. I, th I thought maybe she was the one, man. She was fucking beautiful. She was smart, funny, didn't know her dad. She was new to town. She, she was new to town. She just moved to LA from Austin a couple months before I met her. Like, like very, very sweet, innocent girl, right? We were hanging out for a while. We went on a handful of dates and everything was going great until like, just a couple of dates in. I, I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends of mine who I hadn't seen in a while. So, you know, we're hanging out, catching up, and they're grilling me about, you know, what's going on, what's new, you seeing anybody? And I was, I, I, was, I was so proud and excited to be seeing this new girl. So, you know, I, I broke out her Instagram. I was like, that's, that's her. <laughs> and my friends immediately were like, oh! which is black for, I'm about to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Bro, they roasted this poor girl for like 90 minutes. Did I laugh? Yeah, but fuck those dudes. I'm not gonna stop hanging out with her over it, you know? I, I, I didn't, we, we kept hanging out, we went on a few more dates. Until our last date, man. We were at dinner and she just laid it out there. She was like, you know what, Matt? I'm having a really nice time with you. And I think it's time we take this relationship to the next level. And we need to start incorporating our friends into our hangouts. You know, I, I need to meet your friends. You need to meet my friends. We'll all hang out together, see if our friend groups get along, you know? And I was like, uh, <laughs> why? You know, <laughs> why are you trying to rush things? You know, I'm having such a good time getting to know you, you know? She's like, no, it's. It's important that our friends get along. I was like, no, I, I hear you. I just don't. I don't think it's such a good idea. And she started to get really upset. She was like, and why not? And I was like, because, because we have the same chin. She was like, what? I was like, you have like a cleft chin like how I have. Like it's, it's very strong. It's, it's a very masculine facial feature. And like, I, I think it's cute, obviously. <laughs> but not everybody does. <laughs> she was like, what are you trying to say? I was like, my friends are going to roast you. They're gonna make fun of the way you look. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's just how they are. She goes, oh, that is so childish. Like, what are they gonna say? That I have like a butt chin? Ooh, so original. Like, I've heard it all before, babe. And I was like, no, you haven't. I don't know how many black friends you have, but this is kind of what they do, okay? Do you know that they call you the Texas Chinsaw Massacre? Did you know that? That was just off the top. She was so offended. She was, oh, that is so rude. Is that all they know about me is what I look like? I was like, no, they know you just moved here from Texas <laughs> to be a chinfluencer, they said. Uh, and now I miss her, man. I know, she was my little chinderella. So stupid. <laughs> I appreciate you wearing your best shorts. <laughs> I know it's hot outside, but like this is still an event. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, I know I'm going to a comedy show, but just in case there's a trampoline. <laughs> Didn't even try you mowing the grass after this? God damn, man. Whatever, it's not your night. You're right. Pressure's on me.